What is up, guys? My name is Loverfella, and welcome back to Pix Art, guys. This game is incredible. The more I play it, the more in love with it I am. And today, I want to show you guys something really cool. There's a lot of different weapons in this game, all right? Just like in regular Ark, there's a lot of different weapons. But the cool thing is, these weapons don't shoot normal shots. These weapons shoot magic shots. And so today, I'm going to show you guys how to get magic weapons, how to use magic shots, and how to use them in your gameplay, and hopefully use them in PvP or PvE or whatever it is. So if we find a monster, we can show you a demonstration of what is a fire or an ice rocket. So this rocket is a rocket that's going to hit them. If it hits them, it's going to slow them. So this is an example of a poison pistol against a fire elemental. That seems pretty Minecraft-esque, but I still quite like it. It looks actually very intimidating. So the poison pistol does poison damage over time. It's going to be slightly more powerful than a regular pistol. But you can't just use these bullets on any gun. You can't just take a random gun and just load them up. And so, I'm going to show you guys what you need to do to do it and how to use this crafting station, because it can be a little bit confusing at first. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make some kind of platform or foundation. In this case, I just found in some iron platforms, placed them on the ground, and, uh, you know, you, you guys can figure out how to make your own foundations. I'm not here to, like, spoil the game. I want you guys to still experience it, but I want you to know how to experience it. And before we get too into this video, I want you guys to know I'll be opening my own server today, the day of release of the game. So if you want to join the server, I'll have that link posted either on my Twitter or my Discord or something, and it's going to be huge. So, first thing you need to do, make the foundation and then craft something called a firearm work table. Now, this stuff is probably more mid to end game, so you're not going to have this right away, but I want you to know how to do it so you're prepared when you get there. So, you get the firearm work table, you place it down, you look inside of it, and this is a little bit overwhelming, and you're like, what the heck am I supposed to do? You're confused, you're lost, and you're like, lover fella, come help me. Well, I'm here to help you guys, and as you know, we are the one-stop shop for all Pixar help. So, this is a little bit overwhelming, and there's no help to tell you what to do. So, what you need to do is make a weapon, whatever it is, whether it's a, a sniper, a shotgun, a pistol, even, you know, just any weapon, literally any weapon. You take it, and you drag it into this slot right here. Once it's in there, you can see a nice little 3D model of your weapon. It's actually pretty sweet looking. And then you can modify and enchant that weapon. So first, we'll go over modifications. Modifications have three different things. You can either do a gun barrel modification, which is the barrel of the gun. Gun frame, which is more towards the back of the gun. And then the magazine, which is how much ammo you can have or the clip size. Every gun has different stats, different upgrades, and then to upgrade them, you can just click on it and it shows you what you need. So you need five copper. So I have a bunch of equipment already here, and we can actually just transfer everything in here so we just have it ready to go. So now we have five copper. So if I click on gun barrel, watch these stats here, we'll give it the type one. It just went up 15 in damage and 21 in accuracy. So because of that upgrade, it now is a little bit more accurate. Let's go with the type two. It needs more copper. Okay, now we've added it in there, and you can see that this one costs 5, type 1, type 2 costs 7. What's that mean? Type 2 is probably better. So if we upgrade it, it gets even more accuracy, more damage, so it goes up even more from when it was a type 1. And then if you look again, we'll just go back and forth, you can see the gun barrel actually changes. So it's going to change how you use the weapon, so you're going to have a shorter barrel versus a longer barrel, but it helps. Gun frame, you can have two more upgrades, watch up here and watch down here. So the gun frame requires a little bit of wood, so if you look at the gun, it really changes how the gun looks pretty significantly, and then upgrades your stability and your overheat limit. Type 2, upgrade that again, it's going to actually increase stability, but decrease the overheat limit. So this one, you can see it kind of added a little bit more metal, made it a little bit more of like a medieval style looking gun, but it makes it more powerful. So if you can, do straight to the tier 2, don't do the tier 1. It's, I mean, if you can only get tier 1, that's fine, it's good, but try to get tier 2. Magazine, you can upgrade that for the quicker fire rate, upgrade it again for an even quicker fire rate. So now, this is a maxed out gun. So I'll bring this down here, show you guys real quick what it looks like. Oops, I'm going to go to this. Oh, did I even? I don't even think I dragged it down. Oh, my, my B. Okay, so here it is in the 7 slot. So this is our new sniper. So I don't know if you remember how it looked at the beginning, but it looked like just a wooden gun. And I can actually show you by spawning one in. So we have fully upgraded sniper versus completely regular sniper. So the fully upgraded sniper, if you don't, if you don't notice, it lost its scope. So maybe you don't want that upgrade. Even though it gave it more accuracy, it no longer has a scope. So now you can't see that close, so keep that in mind, or maybe this is something you want. Like, you can get creative with how you want to play, how you want to PvP, how you want to battle. So maybe you want to have a nice mid to long range weapon. Maybe you want a super long range with no mid. I mean, there's advantages to both. Like, with this one, you can still see to your side, so you can see if there's someone there or if there's someone on the other side of your screen. So, now you know how to upgrade your weapon. Let's show you how to enchant your weapon. So we're going to go with the exact same weapon that we just had. Drag it back into this slot, then you go to the enchant tab. And then you can enchant it through fire, ice, or poison. And this is where it gets cool and probably where you want to care the most, pay the most attention. The fire, ice, and poison enchantments can all be done by using magic stones. Now these magic stones you can find throughout the world, either through can, you know harvesting them or killing stuff and getting them. There's a lot of ways and you'll probably stumble upon a few of them as you play. And there's a lot of different stones for a lot of different upgrades, okay? 
And so for a fire enchantment, you need 22 for this one. So if I upgrade it, you can see the gun now turns red and it has increases fire damage by eight. So if I take this gun out and um, you generally, yeah, there we go. Gun is out. Remember how it looked before? Now it's got some sweet red lines on it. Hello, Cyclops. Please don't attack us. So we let red fire lines looks almost like lava and I love it. So it's going to do more fire damage. So let's drag it back in there. And you do have to drag it from your inventory. It doesn't work from your bottom hot bar, which will probably be fixed soon. Ice enchantment increases your ice damage, so by two. And you can keep doing it, keep wasting stones, but it's not going to really... Oh, I guess it does increase it. So we'll try that again. We'll test it with fire. Four, three. So we have a poison enchantment. Increases it by three. There's some glitches coming in here. It just says three. Um, now five, now three. So it looks like if you do it multiple times, you can get different results. So you may have to spend a lot of stones seven three five so as we keep doing it it's getting different damage and it ended on six and that is where we'll leave it so it increases your poison damage but you might be wondering how do i even do poison damage to begin with because a regular bullet doesn't do poison damage well to answer that question you have to get special bullets and i already have spawned some of those in and you guys can uh, craft these throughout the world or probably find them in monsters can't confirm that you can but i'm assuming that's a feature and you have three different bullets you have fire ice and poison so i'll show you really quick how they all look in this gun that we just created so let me know if you can guess what this one is. It's a fire bullet. It does extreme fire damage and probably the most damage of any weapon. So if you're sniping, you can now literally <laughs> shoot fire from a sniper. One of the coolest things that I've ever seen. So we can just attack things, shoot them with fire, knock them out, and it's pretty crazy. But if fire is not your thing, we can jump to the dark forest and just check out a new biome while also showing you the new ice bullet. So the ice bullet, unlike the massive damage fire bullet, there's actually a creature over there. Let's go test it on that creature in this new biome. This is the dark forest, by the way. That's a skeleton. Perfect. The ice dart is going to slow them down. Uh, or kill them instantly. Let's go ahead and spawn in a big creature so I can actually show you what I'm talking about. Um, maybe a dodecarus. I don't think this guy will die instantly. Hey, buddy. Shoot it with the ice, and it drastically slows down, and it, it's just much slower. Let's hit it with that. Kill it pretty quick. It does a lot of damage, but the, the gist of it is I think you understand that it's going to slow down. So we have a skeleton here trying to get our loot. Don't want to deal with that. And then one of my favorites in any game is poison. So the poison dart is incredible. So we'll go ahead, go back to this menu. And by the way, incredible menu, Pixar devs. I'm very happy with what you did here. Let's make a goblin king. Seems like a cool monster to face. And there he is. So we shoot him and then he's going to be poisoned and then he's going to take poison damage. You can see he has like a little trail of poison and just takes damage over time. So you can just keep shooting him, slowing him down with this. And maybe I'll jump back to the ice dart. And actually, why not use a different weapon? I do have a pistol here. So we'll do a pistol with an ice dart. Now this is a poison pistol with an ice dart. You generally don't want to mismatch what you have inside because it's not going to give you that buff. But look how slow he is now. Hardly even moving. So this is going to be really, really, really OP in PvP in my opinion. Because if you can't move, you can't win. So I think poison is going to be the best, but a mix might be even better. Looks like there's some magic wisp over here I kind of need to check out real quick. Let's check it out with our magic bazooka. This is a spectre wolf. That's cool. So we have a bazooka with also special rockets. So that's an ice rocket, which does like an area of effect slow. So you can see that it massively slows them. Like there's a huge, huge zone of slowness. And you can see all the different rockets here. So we can do a fire rocket, which is pretty freaking sweet. I really like the fire rocket. It does big damage on people. So I shoot that out. Huge, huge explosion. I'll shoot one more so you get an idea of it. But these are for PvP. Like this is going to be legit, guys. I am actually really hyped for it. After seeing this system in depth and like what it's capable of, like, like, look at this, look at this poison. You shoot it and it just creates a cloud of poison. It's incredible. And I love it. So this is a brief overview of how to get enchanted weapons and enchanted bullets and ammo and what they do and the different effects and stuff. Hope that helps you guys out. You just need a firearm work table and some basic equipment and resources, which you'll find throughout playing, whether you're mining or killing and stuff, you'll come across these items. And I'll have a guide in the future once I figure it out myself how to get them the best. Tomorrow's episode will actually be covering a very special weapon that you may all be interested in. Maybe more interested than the current episode. Tomorrow, we are going to talk about magic. If you didn't notice, this game is more than just arc. This game is a lot of things. And this game contains things such as magic wands that do different things. For example, a stone wand that can alter the terrain. A stone wand that does magic damage. Or, excuse me, a stone wand that does massive damage to structures. Or maybe you're interested in a light magic stone wand, which, while fighting, can turn you into a healer that heals your teammates with a giant aurora above you. We will cover this in depth tomorrow and show you guys everything you need to know about this staff and the staff system, how you can become the ultimate mage on your server. 
maybe even pick a class, help support your team in a very special way. Guys, I really want to cover a lot of Pixar on my channel, and so I'm doing a lot of work and a lot of research to figure this stuff out. There's no wiki out there right now that tells me how to use magic, how to craft it, and how to find it. This game is not even released yet, and I'm trying to cover this content so you guys can know where to go and how to play from the start. So if you enjoy this, please dig deep down and press that like button so that more people can see it. Share it with your friends. Get the word out there. This game needs to be huge, and I want you guys to join my server. And I want to test a new thing I might try at the end of some videos while I kill some stuff with this pistol and show it more with you. I had someone ask me the other day what I think about him being super, super sad, how I can help him, because he just went through a really bad breakup. And I actually am stealing this device from Ninja, and if you, if you heard me or you asked me, you know who I'm talking to, this device is for you. He told me he felt horrible and he just didn't know what to do, and he just super depressed. And I would tell him exactly what I think anyone needs to hear in that situation, and that is that what you're feeling is completely normal, and you just got to completely push through it and just accept that it's going to suck. It's going to suck for a long time. It's probably maybe even a few months, but you're going to just feel it. You got to just push through it. And then once you're through, you know, a couple of days, weeks or months of feeling it, you're going to be back to normal and you're going to get through it just like everyone. But it's not going to be easy. You know, I want to tell you that it's not going to be easy, but what you're going through is normal. And everyone in the world has faced something like that. And so, um, I mean, I have. I've been through some stuff like that before. Breakups. And did he just drop a chest? That's pretty cool. Skeleton. The bone skeleton can be used to make magic things. That's pretty sweet. But don't be too hard on yourself. You're going to be fine. You're going to make it through. It's not a problem at all. And the reason I'm making this in the video is because more people are going through that than just this one person. Maybe hearing that will help you guys a little bit. And I thought maybe it'd be cool to have something like that towards the end of the video. Where if someone sends me a message, I can just try to help them out a little bit. Because we're about spreading love. And I think, you know, I think I can help you guys. At least, uh, at least I hope I can. But guys, that is today's episode, teaching you guys about all the new weapons, cool stuff in this game, and how you can get it. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm really excited to play on this with a bunch of people. If you want to join my tribe, you can check out my Patreon page, um, Loverfella, or patreon.com slash Loverfella, I believe. It's going to be a blast, and I hope to see you guys there. So as always, spread the love. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.